Well, like, as I said, as I said, we, Scottish we, ministers. we would not be having meetings with the Catalans or the Corsican separatists. I mean, it's it's. Are you it's, equating it's, the country it's, of Scotland? It's, be, it's because to those areas. Well, I, I'm saying that the, I'm saying that the Scottish. Yes, my friends, he did actually say that in conversation about Scotland. Yes, the Secretary of State for Scotland, Alistair Jack. But hello, Lena, do hope you're all well. Now, this was in this week's Co Scottish Affairs Committee meeting where the Chair, Pete Wishart, brought up this letter that was sent to the SNP by our Foreign Secretary. Yes, James, not so cleverly. Well, fellow SNP MP... Jada Brock decided to follow on with this line of questioning and then a rather exercised Alistair Jack made that rather odd statement and then really showed his true colours and probably the government's as well. Thank you very much Chair and um, just continuing on the line of questioning about that um, foreign affairs diktat um, or the FCDO's diktat, I just wondered, I, it's a question I think I put to the Foreign Secretary um, a, a couple of weeks ago, it was just exactly how will those diplomats intervene if ministers from other governments start going off piste in terms of the topics they're supposed to be discussing? What are they going to be <coughs> doing in those meetings to stop that from happening? Well, that, again, you'll have to ask the Foreign Secretary what, what his plans are for that. He's been very clear that, that the... But presumably this our, our missions and our posts are not to be used for undermining the UK government's reserve policies. It's as simple as that. As to what happens next, that's a matter for the Foreign Secretary. But to date, since the diktat went out, we've actually seen a change of approach and attitude. And we are back on to where we were pre, uh, maybe a year ago, when things were going fine. It's only of late things have gone off the rails. We're now back. At, we're now back on a steady program. Uh, ste on ste you know, yeah, steady. I mean, you, you, you go often on overseas trips yourself and and communicate with, uh, meet with ministers from other governments. Can you describe to me the circumstances under which you can imagine diplomats intervening on your conversation and saying that what you are discussing is not appropriate? How would yeah, you, I how mean, does I, that I, work? I think I think you're getting confused. Um, if I in other words. Don't be so hysterical, young lady. Are you really this stupid? Oh, maybe as good as I say, shouldn't you be in the kitchen making the dinner? I don't know, could be wrong, but I think there are a bit of, um, maybe a hot bit tot of sexism there. What do you guys think? I may say about the difference between the, the position of the UK government as opposed to devolved administrations and... What is, you know, we saw this with the Supreme Court judgment in November last year. What is, what is reserved and what is... I appreciate uh, reser rever reserved what is versus devolved areas. What yeah. I'm talking about is those diplomats how, how saying to ministers from other governments, from other countries or other areas, that you cannot discuss this. Well, like, as I said, I, I said we, we, we would not be having meetings with the Catalans or the Corsican separatists. I mean, it's it's. Are you it's, equating it's, the it's, country it's, of Scotland? It's, be, it's because to those areas. Well, I, I'm regions. saying that the, I'm saying that the Scottish government want to break up the United Kingdom. With the attitude that yourself and this extreme Brexit Tory government have showed over the years, why are you not surprised, Secretary of State for Scotland? Also, what a really insulting thing to say. By the sounds of it, what do you guys think? And the United okay. Kingdom government wants to, as I say, we, the reason devolution works is because if everyone's, it, 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 there, is a, there is a Scotland Act, and if we all adhere to the Scotland Act and the principles behind it, then devolution works perfectly well. But if we go, you know, it, it, it's no different to the, 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 the Scottish government put in their manifesto the removal of Trident from Fas Lane. But, but, but that's a reserved matter. So I wouldn't expect the Scottish Government to go off and talk to foreign countries about removing Trident from Faz Lane because it's entirely in the reserved area. Okay. You, it's, just, it's just... Do you know what I said? OK, to me that spoke to me of Deirdre Brock saying, you're a bit of a massive prick, aren't you? Common sense. We, the MOD, the Secretary of State for, for Defence, speaks on behalf of Trident, no one else. That's how the system works. Okay. All right. Um, it, we'll leave that there for the moment. I'm, I'm still not hearing any sort of practical examples of how that might work. And I'm, anyway, saying, and I'm saying you'll get them from the Foreign Secretary oh, okay. as and when the moment comes. I, I thought you might have discussed it with him in some detail. But I anyway. might have done, but I'm Can not I sharing it with you. Can I just say I'm really delighted? Is that right? <laughs> Indeed, that is right. <laughs>
There you go, total arrogance from this Tory bell tap. Now, the thing is, I only heard about this when it came to this line of question from Pete Wishard. So I had a little scout around and and what it seems like to me that Scottish ministers are calling for the UK Foreign Secretary, James not so cleverly, to retract guidance given to UK diplomatic missions regarding their international visits. They accuse cleverly of writing a misleading letter that harms Scotland's interests and reduces its status to an administrative unit. Now, I don't know whether that's true, but Cleverly's guidance is described as a crackdown on the SNP's efforts to promote Scottish independence during foreign visits. Asks this Diplomats to involve UK government officials in meetings with host governments. While the foreign policy is reserved for Westminster, Scottish ministers have engaged with foreign governments on various issues. Now, the SNP claims the UK government is trying to undermine their authority. Now, I don't know whether there's any truth to that. No. Scottish External Affairs Secretary Angus Robertson has written a letter to Cleverly expressing concerns about the potential damage caused by the guidance and requesting its withdrawal. As the UK Foreign Office maintains that it effectively represents Scotland's interests on a global stage and ensures they are prioritised. I don't know about you, but I can think of about £12,000 reasons where I think our James Not So Cleverly's priorities are and not so sure that they're with Scotland. But our sneering Alistair Jack's tone and attitude seems to say to me, know your place, respect your betters and toe the line and do as you are told. We know what's best for Scotland. You don't. Now, I know a few of my subscribers in Scotland, what, what I've thought about uh, this story, or just, just what I summarised, if I've got anything wrong or you want to elaborate, more than welcome to, because I just want to know what you guys think. So let me know down below, and until the next time, I shall bid you farewell and take care, my friends.